from Colorado's news leader. This is 9 News at 8 a.m. <laughs> Such great music, isn't it? All right, you know it is time for another one of Origins Workouts this morning. Got some fresh ideas to keep your body in ski season shape as we hit 2007. Of course, with all the snow, there's lots of skiing to be done. And uh, it, you can tell it's 2007. And I just got back from vacation because I forgot right. my workout clothes. I'm That's joined right. by uh, Chris right. Tetro from Tetro Performance. Chris, thank you so much for it's coming in today. Yes, and uh, and Chris operates out of Broomfield, which I like you already because <laughs> there's my hometown. Yeah. There you go. Now Great. you've got some exercise you're going to show us today, mm -hmm. specifically geared towards people skiing, right. getting ready for skiing. What uh, what are you going to show us first? Something okay. with a step, and you can do this with or without a step. That's right? correct. We can. And uh, what we want to try to focus on today is a little bit about opening up your hips. Okay. A lot of people have very tight hips, and we use our hips a lot when we ski. Right. So the first exercise is the functional one, okay. which means it's got some characteristics of what you would use when you would ski. Right. So what we're going to do is I'm going to step up on the step and I'm going to drive forward, grab hold, and step down and just come into a squat position. Okay. Okay. I'm going to repeat back to the other side. Okay. I'll step up this time with my left, grab my right. This engages my abdominals, gets my hip flexor engaged, and then I'm going to hop down again. And, and what does the squat. squat do at the end? Well, the squat, uh, obviously, it completely opens up your hips. It's a good stretch for you. Okay. But what's most important there is the dynamic aspect of it. Um, like everybody you're landing off of a bump or something, Exactly. Right? Okay. Exactly. There's a very dynamic nature to skiing yeah. when you do ski. Hopefully not too much. Right. But, <laughs> but, but what you want to do, too, is make sure that you are loose in that area so that you have the uh, dexterity and the versatility. Right. Necessary in order to do it effectively. A lot of injuries can happen if you're going no down a, a, a mogul run and you're not ready to be flexible enough. That's right. You need to be happen. pliable and you, your body needs to be adaptable. Absolutely. You know, those are the things that are really okay, important. Okay, so what would you recommend then as far as uh, how often? How, how many... often? You know, it, it's always at a different pace depending on the individual. Okay. Okay, I think that first of all, you probably want to start with a small number, maybe five each leg. Okay. Um, or so when you drive up with that leg, so sure. five each. And then uh, maybe progress up to a total of 10. That's all. Just to open up. Get loose. Get okay. nice and loose there. So but, we're loose there, and then okay. we come over to here, yeah, right? Yeah, right here what we'll have is um, we're going to do something that requires a ball. There we and go. magically, yeah, magically a ball, ball does appears. appear. <laughs> there we go. Okay. And this is called a glute bridge march. And what I'll do is I'll put my arms out, create a big platform for my shoulders. Okay. Lift my hips, and I'm just going to march out. Oh, wow. Okay. Now, this is, look, this is a little tricky. It is, yeah. Um, it takes... Uh, obviously, my glutes are, are tight here. My back is engaged. Okay, my abdominals are tight. Does that work for hamstrings too? It I does do as well. You pull the ball in yep. like this with you could do that. That's a variation curl. as well for right. hamstring for okay. isolation. But here with the march, we've got everything working and in the hip region. The hips, right. Right. Okay. And if you don't have a ball, what you can do is we can simply do it on the floor. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Same. Same exact movement. Excellent. Okay. All right, so there's two of them, and Those we have are two. a third one that's right. another good one to do for getting ready for Right, the dreaded lunge. Everybody can't stand uh, the lunge, yeah. but it is so, it's, it's so, so versatile, good. and it allows you it to do is. a lot of things. And I'm just going to throw a little a twist to it. To it, doesn't it? Okay. Very much so. Which is fun to do, especially with something like a lunge that not everybody likes to do. Kind of like doing a backward lunge every once in a while. If you throw something into it, it makes it a little more exciting. Right, yeah. right. And what this is is a deep lunge okay. with an elbow drop. Okay? Mm -hmm. This sounds a little fancy, but right. what you do is you step forward. <laughs> You put your hand down, change your elevation, bring your elbow down as far as you can to your ankle. Okay, that's the depth that you can get. Right. And then you push back. And then you reverse to the other side. And that's going to help, again, open up those hips. Right. Remember, you know, you have to know what your limitations are, what your ability level is. Right. Because this might be too much for just a beginner right. or people who have hip or knee problems. Or ankle problems, so you want to make sure. But those people that have those problems can build up to being able to do something like that. Very can much they? so. Okay. And again, this is a—it's called an active stretch as well. Right. So it's a good way to get yourself ready for the slope. So okay. even before you put on your boots and all your gear, it's a good way to loosen up. Break out some stretches in the parking lot so that you can get uh, get ready to Maybe haul all your gear over. Lunge your way up to the up to the lift. Lunge your way up. To, yeah, that would look interesting with, with your skis on the back. That's right. Just lunge. That'd be a great exercise, wouldn't it? That's all right. right, Chris. Appreciate it. Good exercises and uh, well, it's good ones to incorporate for uh, skiing. Thank you. There's a lot of good snow up there too. Thank you. So, yeah, Plenty good. to do. Very appreciate Thank you. it. Happy New Year. Well, Happy New Year to you too. We will have a video clip of Chris Tetro and uh, Tetro Performance and more information about him on 9news.com. You go to our morning show webpage and we'll have it all there for you. We'll be right back. It's 827. You're watching 9 News with Gary Shapiro, Kyle Dyer, Nico Kelly, Greg Moss, Susie Wardgen, and Tanya Hotman in Sky 9 on My20TV KTVD.
Colorado's only news presented in high definition.